In one of my last uh, videos, I spoke to you about um, the fact that to have a secret place where you can be silent before God so that he can speak to you is a very important principle to have a healthy life. And um, I want to explain something from uh, the Bible about this secret place. In the book of Kings, 1 Kings verse 17, verse 1 until 11, we read about the prophet Elijah. And the prophet Elijah had just been uh, very faithful to God and spoken a judgment on the king Achab. And then the Lord spoke to him and said, go to the, um, the, the brook of Kidron and stay there. And you can drink from that place and you, you will be, there will be birds from the sky that will come and bring food to you. Now that's a wonderful promise of the Lord. And uh, so when there was famine in the land and there was no rain and, and there was drought everywhere, the, the, the man of God, the child of God was safe. And this is a principle that uh, we can um, find in many more places of the Bible. When we read Psalm 91, we see that uh, it says, when on your left side 1,000 fall, on your right side 10,000 fall, it will not harm you. And uh, it also says, if you are, uh, if you are st staying in the night in the shadow of the Almighty, He will uh, protect you. His uh, feathers will be upon you. You will have healing. You will have uh, protection. And um, also in Psalm. 23 the Lord says the same that uh, he is your shepherd and if he even if you go, go through the shadow of death he will be there and he will sustain you so you don't have to be afraid so it's everywhere in the Bible this principle that people that are faithful that do the will of God that are his, his faithful uh, servants God is giving them a place of security and protection. And um, even sometimes you see that the protection surrounding changes in the course of the life with Elijah. He first was at the, the brook of Kidron. He was drinking from the water and he was fed by the, the raven every day. Wow, what a picture. But, uh, but then at a certain time, because of the drought, the brook had no water anymore. And then the Lord spoke again to him. And he said, go to that widow and, and stay there. And so he went to that widow. And uh, the first thing he did when he came to the widow, he asked for water and he, was, he asked for bread. So actually she gave him from the little amount that she had. And then this was her problem. She had no oil. And then the, the prophet said, go and get all the faces that you have, also from your neighbors, and pour the oil from that little face that you still have in all the other faces, and the oil will not run out. And it will be sufficient to fill, to fill all those faces with oil, so that you will have oil enough for the coming season. So you see also that People that bless the servant of God are being blessed themselves. And uh, so this is an important principle that when you, when you travel and you, you feel the blessing and the protection of the Lord is upon your life. And even if you are in ministry or if you have, are fulfilling a specific and maybe dangerous task for God, that also the people that help you will be protected. So your blessing goes to the other people. And uh, this will help you to fulfill your destiny. And um, I really pray that when we um, have been reading about this uh, protection of God, that you will realize with me that his, he is faithful. And what he has for you is enough. 
it is more than enough. He will sustain you. He will not only give you physical strength, but also give you food and water and shelter at the right time. Uh, maybe in nature, maybe in the desert, maybe in the jungle, wherever it is, God will protect you. And also he will give you people that open up their houses for you. And uh, I've been in many places in the world and I've always found shelter in houses. Always there was a place to which you stay. And I, I will always think about those moments that we blessed the house. We blessed the people that were there because they gave us shelter. So let's be aware of our um, prominent place in the hand of God that he is taking care of his servants. Amen.